welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome my name is Meg and today I'm showing you how to get this makeup look for New Year's Eve. So I don't have my phone in here but I definitely want to link who I got inspiration from so that will be in the description bar I can't remember off the top of my head right now but I thought that this would be like a really good kind of different New Year's Eve makeup tutorial I think that it's kind of like on the beginner friendly side you guys are probably looking at me like this is smoky AF this is not beginner friendly but it is pretty simple to achieve if you're comfortable with blending obviously you don't have to smoke it out as much as I did but I did like the little glitz and glam of the glitter liner so then that sense I do think that it is a beginner friendly makeup tutorial so yeah enough with the chit chat let's roll into tutorial so you guys can learn how to do this thing so surprise surprise we're using the Jaclyn Hill palette today and I'm taking silk cream and pooter as my transition shades for this look I'm just gonna blend this pretty high into my crease with a fluffy brush and I do like to angle my shadows out in the outer corner and moving along we're going into buns I love this it's kind of like a red toned brown and I think it's gorgeous so I'm gonna blend this not as high as the other two shades and by the way don't mind my nails I used a purple shampoo and was lazy and didn't use gloves so it kind of stained the skin underneath my fingernails not that anyone really cared but now you know <laughs> and now we're going into chip and this is like a really deep smoky brown and I just think it's super gorgeous so I'm putting that right above where my crease starts and I'm blending that but not super high up into the crease then I'm going to take a shader brush and pack this all over the lid and then I'm going to give it one final blend for the lower lash line, I'm going back in with that chip color that we just used and I'm taking a flat liner brush to line my lash line and to blend that out, I am going to go in with buns and when I'm doing my lower lash line, I really like to take the shadows and smoke them out a decent amount. Obviously, um, you don't have to do this, but I think it helps bring balance to the look and looking back, I think I would have stopped at using buns, but I took it a step further and I always like to make sure that I'm connecting the outer edges together. So here I am taking Pooter, which was one of the two lighter shades that we used in the beginning, just to smoke out that outer edge. Lastly, I'm going to take In Light and Beam, which are the two highlight shades, and I'm going to put that on the brow bone. And then I'm also going to pack that into the inner corner. I really like to bring these colors down into the lower part of my lash line, like smudge it into the lower lash line because I feel like it really helps make the eyes pop and it will make them look bigger and I just feel like it just adds a glam factor to the look. So for glitter, I'm using the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in Midnight Cowboy in the Stila, I think it's like their liquid metals in Diamond Dust. I'm applying this with a really fine edged angled brush and here I am just mapping out where I want my wings to be. I kind of do this to make sure that they're even before I really go to town. And then you just want to scrape off the product from the applicator onto the brush and just do a regular wing. I used the Stila product first and then to add more glitz and glam I went on top with the Urban Decay glitter liner. I love this look for New Year's because I feel like you have to incorporate something sparkly and I felt like this was a wow factor. I feel like you don't really see people wearing glitter liner on an everyday basis. And there we go. All right, you guys, so here is the finished look. I popped on some Ardell Wispy Lashes, and then I also popped on this liquid lipstick by Ofra because I just got done filming my Ipsy bag unbagging. So if you want to see it, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. But anyways, I used the color that was in there, and I think that this is just a color specifically for Ipsy, and I honestly feel like, can we focus? Hello? There we go. I honestly feel like it was specifically made for Ipsy, and it's called Ipsy Unzipped. I could be wrong. But anyways, a random side note, this reminded me a lot of their color Duchess with Nikki Tutorials. So I did a side-by-side -side swatch. This is an Ipsy color. This is a Duchess color. In case you wanted to know, now you know. Your life is different now. But yeah, I was going to go with the for a nude lip, and I'm, you know, happy I opened this and changed my mind. I feel like a berry lip is something that's pretty unexpected for 
New Year's Eve. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I think that it's pretty like beginner glam friendly because it's not like a crazy cut crease or anything and you do just have like the glitter from the liner. Obviously you don't have to smoke it out as much as I did, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my videos. I'm putting out a lot of reviews and some tutorials for y'all. Leave me a comment down below with what you would like to see from me and what your plans for the holiday are. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.